Hi there, welcome back to Inside Interpreting and here we have another fantastic Inside Interpreting interview today with Mariska Kestelo. If you haven't heard of her, you will soon find out more about her work. Now, I just need to do the usual note for, that's on all of the Inside Interpreting videos. Uh, for these Inside Interpreting interviews, if you're watching this on the main YouTube channel, you'll be watching a five minute preview. If you feel like you would want to see the entire thing and if this has whetted your appetite to see the entire interview as ever, you can see every single interview that has ever appeared on the channel by sponsoring Inside Interpreting on Patreon. The link to Patreon is right at the beginning of the description. As I did with the interview with, with Ebra, I wanted to allow Mariska to introduce herself. So Mariska, first off, welcome to Inside Interpreting. Could you tell us a little bit about who you are and what you currently do? Well, first of all, thank you for the, for the invitation. It's always nice to chat with other industry professionals. Um, well, first of all, my name is Mariska Kessler, born in the Netherlands. And well, a little bit about my background. I study tourism and work now. Since seven years, I made a switch to the meetings and events industry, and I discovered the need of influence and marketing, mm. and I'm also passionate about entrepreneurship. So since um, in 2016, I, I started with influence and marketing and founded mm. Word of Mice, because we believe that one little mouse can make a huge impact in your personal life, but also one little mouse can make an impact online so therefore word of mice is born in 2017 wow. about influ influence and marketing it's not just only about networking it's about building up relationship mm. with people who who have um say an amount of followers who they trust i mean mm. people who follow you they trust you because you have a certain authenticity you you are um your experience in your field and i think um that is that is key to work with, with some of the influencers mm. and therefore the influence that we work with are very um are yeah, are very precise. They would not work, for example, with, with any brand because mm. it doesn't have a match with their amount of followers and they will lose their trust and authenticity. Mm. If someone has only a thousand followers, but those people are really interesting for you, it could be interesting to work with that type of, with that type of influence. And actually now for those on a much smaller scale whose, you know, whose annual marketing budget might be about the same as, as Microsoft's hourly marketing budget, for example, <laughs> Um, can you envision smaller campaigns where, you know, one person consultancy firms or two or three person businesses could actually say, actually, you know, we can get someone in who can help us to, to bring in more business or to just raise awareness of what we do? If there's someone who has more followers or is already a certain icon in, in your industry, approach him or her and do an interview. They are also proud of their expertise and the knowledge that they have built up. So. Um, so they would love to do an interview. They get exposure, you get exposure. Um, so and it's been fantastic to have you. It's such a fascinating subject. And I think today when everything is so interconnected and we can have calls where well, you're in, in the Netherlands and I'm in Edinburgh, it, it's, it's more and more possible, I think, to do things with influencers. And I guess the, the, the further we reach, the, the more influencers we can reach and the more people we can work with. Just a, a very quick question before we go that, that I hadn't planned before. Is there anyone on your list of influencers that you thought, if I could work with them, that would be amazing that you've not been brave enough to reach out to yet? <laughs> well, there is one lady actually in the US. She's called Rachel Miller. I follow her. She has, I think, more than 60,000 followers on Twitter. Um, and she and I follow her because she's posting really great content, always top, top of mind on, on all the trends. And I think it's also great to see that um, I'm also really passionate um, female founder because I think also we need more mm. women uh, women as uh, entrepreneurs so if I if she, I would love to reach out to her um, and to do to do an interview or podcast with her about her knowledge and background and um, yeah to share her story I would I would be really interested yes so, so, so there we go I'll leave that in the five minute one Rachel if you're watching there's already <laughs> a call out for you I don't know if you're going to see this video we'll do our best to get it to you somehow <laughs> so Mariska thank you very much thank you very much and have a great day